hello friends welcome to my channel in this video i am going to discuss social linguistics and i'll discuss spelling reforms in english language as well so let's get started by discussing social linguistics what social linguistic is so as the word indicates social it's related to society or social life so it's the study of language in context to the society social interactions in virtual world the, as you know due to interaction social interaction the world become a global village today and we can communicate anywhere the world just like a village and we can access communicate anywhere at any time so this happens due to advance in technology science trade and immigration yes migration is another important factor for this diversity and multiculturalism multilingualism and many more so we'll discuss spelling reforms in english language okay in later part of 19th century renewed interest was visible in problem of english spellings so as you know the difference between old middle and modern english there is also video available on my channel on that topic and i'll tell you more about that in this video as well so there is a lot of difference in every aspect of language between old to modern english and the modern english that we have today is very simple version so there were spellings in old english that were very different from the english that we use today so we'll see some re spelling reforms so for nearly 400 years english has got struggled with its spelling and it was a chief problem they faced so they just thought to refine language and bring some changes spelling reforms and a lot of work has printed in middle english period and written manuscript variation in spelling in one book even so homer's iliad had different spellings from the one that we read books today and great vowel shift takes place and changes in phonology phonetics as well in each and every aspect of language so we'll see spelling reforms why the spelling reforms take place it takes place to to refine the language to make the language standard standardization of language so there seems a difference between spellings used in different parts of the world at that time so they just impose spelling reforms to make it a standard international printing press was introduced there and to make unification they introduced these spelling reforms and very important names in this process include harry lincoln he proposed sr1 short sound to be spelled e for example in friend as friend and webster noha wrote a compendious dictionary of english language and 1828 american dictionary of english language was formed and 1837 isaac pintman published system of phonetic shorthand more on spelling reforms 1848 alexander john ellis he published a plea for phonetic spellings and 1870 phonological societies were formed in usa and uk and in 1776 english spelling reforms association was formed and in 1876 american spelling reform association was formed so the newspapers in chicago tribunals reform in 1883 american philological association was formed and then in 1898 american national association adopted 12 words paragon prologue pedagogy pedagogue decalogue catalog okay so to reform in their spellings so in 20th century roselvet's his contribution we'll see the contribution of roselvet so you know theodore roselvet president of united states of america 
so he just contributed he supported this spelling reforms so he used his power to impose spelling reforms and he support the plan and he signed an executive order at his home mandating the use of reform spellings in his office and in communications as well this was his contribution so changes by american spelling reform association these are the changes they bought okay in the given words and now we'll see development of dictionary so the definition of lexicography we'll see what lexicography is so it refers to editing compiling writing and making of dictionary and the principles and practices of dictionary making so it's divided into two disciplines practical lexicography which refers to the art or craft of compiling writing and editing dictionaries and second one is theoretical lexicography basically it refers to scholarly study of semantics orthography syntactics and uh, the roles and features so it concerns the same aspect as lexicography but it is meant to be led to development of principles that can improve the quality of future dictionaries and we'll see some several branches of such academic dictionary research are dictionary criticism that evaluate the quality of one or more dictionaries dictionary history pressing the tradition of type of dictionary in particular country or language dictionary typology classify various genres of reference works and then dictionary structure formatting the various ways in which the information is presented in a dictionary and then dictionary use observing the reference acts and skills of dictionary users and lastly dictionary it it applies computer ads you know technological ads to process of dictionary compilation and now we'll see the history of lexicography okay it has developed to the present stage by passing through various phases and many so we'll see the development of dictionary in this section so one of the first dictionaries entitled as the dictionary of Sri Thomas Eliot Knight was actually it was a bilingual you know bilingual two languages and it was followed by others such as dictionary French and English by Claudius Holyband and 1582 a man named as Richard Mulcaster wrote the elementary a spelling guide with undefined words and in 1604 Robert Cowdery, he compiled the first authentic English dictionary entitled as Table Alphabetical, and which constant which constitute of 2,543 words and their definitions. And Cowdery is credited for inventing the idea that a dictionary should follow from A to Z. And 1660 English expositor John baloka an Eng english dictionary by elisha calls and 1656 glossographia by thames blown to us published containing more than 10,000 words along with their etymologies and development of dictionary for the contribution include uh, years later a rival dictionary the new world of english words or journal dictionary was written by Edward Phillips and he boldly plagiarized Blount's work and 1755 Samuel Johnson he just published his dictionary dictionary of English language that is very famous you know Samuel Johnson's dictionary and his contribution in English language and then comes the Oxford English dictionary that is the modern version we know and then webster noha dictionary webster noha wrote a compendious dictionary of english language and he popularized features which would become a hallmark of american english spelling and which include technical terms from art and sciences 
and Webster was proponent of English spelling reforms. So we'll see some syntactic feature, features, verb, adverb combination. An important characteristic of modern vocabulary is large number of expression like set, out, got, all of these. This is combination, verb, adverb combination, you know. And for example, he drove carefully, uh, adverb plus verb. For example, he was badly injured in an incident. So this is all about today's lecture. Hope you understand. The notes are in the description. Thank you for watching.